Hey folks, Colin from the podcast host here. Uh, I've just got myself a new set of studio monitors, so I thought I'd uh, unbox them here and let you have a look at them, see how they work. I've never tried one of these before, so we'll see how it works. Uh, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do in an unboxing, but we'll uh, well unbox it and see if that works. Uh, so I've got myself a new set of um, M Audio studio monitors, uh, the AV40s. So kind of mid-range, decent enough, supposedly. I've heard good reviews of them, so that's why I want to try them out. Uh, so let's see what's in here. It's got these two pads here. I'm guessing that is to isolate the sound of the monitors. You're supposed to put the monitors on something, not directly onto your desk, because the whole point of these is that they're a really accurate representation of the sound that you're recording. Um, they don't alter them, like adding bass or EQ or anything like that, so they should give the most neutral version of whatever audio you're recording. Um, and if you put them on a table, for example, uh, the resonance that comes out of the bottom of the monitors can uh, be affected by the table, and actually the table becomes a bit of a speaker as well because of that, um, because of the reflected sound or the, uh, the resonance, that type of stuff. So basically you want to have them on something that negates that type of effect so that they are, they're still the neutral sound. So I'm guessing these little pads <clears throat> are intended to be um, that type, well, a basic version of that. I've actually heard people talking about putting them on cinder blocks. Supposedly that's a pretty good method for keeping your, uh, your audio isolated. Let's have a look at what they are like. They're actually a little bit smaller than I was expecting, which is good. Won't take up as much room on my desk. That's quite nice. I do like the look of them. They're very good quality, nice and solid. Really good build quality. Metal panel on the back. And uh, you've also got the tweeter on the top. I mean, unit down below. Being the AV40s, they're a four inch speaker. Uh, so they should give me a really good sound. I'm hoping uh, there's a woofer in the back there as well, you can see space for the bass. So I'm hoping I can use them obviously for my studio for the mixing but that they can be brought downstairs uh, to play some music for parties and the like if need be. So that is the right hand one which only has on the back uh, just a connection for the speaker itself. I believe the other one has the more varied connections so I'll have a look at that. So cables wise, it comes with one double end, uh, three quarter, sorry, 3.5 mil standard headphone socket. Uh, it comes with uh, a standard bit of speaker cable. So just for plugging into this one, that'll be to, that'll be to connect the two speakers together. And it's got one normal uh, phono cable as well. Phono, one end and the other end, the 3.5 mil. So the back of this one, we have standard phono socket, we've got TRS input, uh, power socket and the standard off to the other speaker. On the front of this speaker, the other speaker, the front's all blank, the front of this one though you've got a volume control and you've got an auxiliary in and a phone socket as well so that's quite nice actually it's just an extra phone's output uh, which means I don't have to use the front of the PC if I don't need them. So that's them unboxed what I'll do is I'll now connect them up and you can see them uh, working away. So first things first connect the two speakers together The cable here is actually quite short, I have to say. I'm able to get the speakers very far apart. 
They're not going to be separated by the entire room, certainly. It's only about maybe a metre and a half maximum. That'll do for just now. What I'm going to do is plug in my phone into the phono. This would obviously be the same for a mixer or a PC or whatever it is you're plugging in via the phono. You could use the TRS as well if you have those cables or if they suit it better. We obviously won't be getting the full effect through the uh, lapel mic, but it sounds good to me. And it's barely up in volume, quarter up and it's already, yeah, quarter up in volume and it's already as loud as my previous computer speakers. Uh, so I'm sure I'll be able to get some better levels out of it. So I'm looking forward to hearing a uh, podcast through it, hearing my voice and hearing um, it on the beds and the background music, that type of stuff. That's the main thing that I want to get them for is because I'm finding it um, with the sort of extra experiments I'm doing around beds, background music effects, that type of thing. I'm struggling to get my voice um, balanced well with those backgrounds. Uh, it's uh, the speakers I'm using at the moment and the headphones are a little bit over bassy, so it just doesn't quite balance right. So, I'm looking forward to getting these set up properly upstairs, uh, hearing what my mixes are sounding like, and uh, getting them sounding a lot better for people to listen to. So, I hope that was useful to you. Have a look at the M Audio AV40s. Uh, I got these for about ninety-five pounds on Amazon. So, if you're looking for a similar set, like I said, I've seen some very good reviews, uh, and I can report back. Uh, later on uh, as to how I find them. So I hope that was useful and uh, thanks for watching.